My best bet is not to focus on the table and report the table as it is. I need to be creative. How would you write your report if you have a combination of different visuals? A pie chart with a bar chart. A line graph with a table. How would you structure that? Would you combine the two approaches, the two visuals, or you go separately and you talk about one visual and then you move on to the other visual? How would you answer that? Well, if that is your question, welcome to IELTS Juice. Let's start analyzing and scoring. And at the end, we're going to improve a report today. The rubric says the table and charts below give information on the police budget for 2017 and 2018 in one area of Britain. The table shows where the money came from and the charts show how it was distributed. Okay, so let's look at the visuals. We have a table and the charts here are pie charts and there are two pie charts. I see. So I cannot look at the whole visual in one go. Let me just go over here. Yeah, much better. Okay, as I can see, we have a table and we have two pie charts. So that's the visual. Then we have uh, the time frame. 2017, 2018, both are in the past. So we are going to use past simple tense. And then we want to show where exactly it is. It is, we don't know the name of the area or the region or the place or, or if it's a city or not. We don't know much information. We just know it's an area in uh, Britain. So what we are going to say is that, yes, it's only limited to a certain location and it's an, it's an area. We don't know where it is but it is in Britain. Fine. The fourth thing that I would like to point out here is that as I can see, the sources for budget are relatively similar. So I don't like to go ahead and say, yeah, the number for 2017 for national government source is this, um, sorry, the source uh, for national government as a source of budget for the police is this or was this. And then I just say the second number in 2018. And then I go for local taxes. And then I repeat this by reporting and comparing 2017 with 2018. That is going to be very boring because the table is boring. Look at the numbers. Uh, national government was by far the the, the largest contributor to the police budget and it remained the same in 2018 with a small change. That is the same story for local taxes and that's the same story for other sources. And it's the same story for the total. So my best bet is not to focus on the table and report the table as it is. I need to be creative. Let's look at the pie charts for a sec. I see there are, again, still similar elements, similar priorities. Uh, what I can see right now is that salaries uh, were the highest one all, always in both years, and then building remained exactly constant, no absolute change. Technology changed, increased, but it didn't uh, become the second. So again, in priorities, nothing changed. This is also going to be boring to focus on the pie charts uh, in one paragraph. To be creative here is to mix the table with the pie chart. And then we go ahead and uh, work on it. Let's uh, look at the candidate's response here. 
And as you know, since we are going to read, um, and this is a report, I need the report to be side by side. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now let's read the report. The provider table tabulates, good word, data on the budget sources of the police in a certain area in the UK. You can refer uh, to Britain as the UK. The two given pie charts show the distribution of the acquired money in three sectors, namely salaries to officers and staff, officers and staff, good, technology, good, and building and transport, building and transport. Now, let this be a lesson for us that why uh, we at IELTS Juice insist that you do uh, the comma listing or the listing comma. So you, even for the very last item, you keep saying comma and you say and. Because if in this case, if we delete this comma, in that in some textbooks or even at some IELTS rubrics, you may see that they, they don't put it here. The confusion that it will create will be technology and building and transport. As if this entity is one entity altogether. And there is no distinction. So that's why we always say, and you can see right now in front of you, why we insist on this. And this uh, contributes to clarity even better than IELTS does at IELTS Juice, that we go for listing comma. We put commas even to the end, even before the last end, just to make sure that this is considered one entity. This is one item, building and transport all together in one part. And this is not and building another comma and transport to say that transport is a different entity, building is a different entity. They, they come in one color, in one data uh, row or data line here. Okay, I'll continue. The budget is given in million pounds in two consecutive years, 2017 and 2018. Uh, this is extra information, but it's very nice to know because yes, it is in million pounds. Uh, this is, this is the pound symbol and this M means million. And also, uh, we also, we focus on the two years given. So 2018 and 2017 are the years in question here. It is evident that more than half of the police budget came from national government. Interesting. Yes. Came from, uh, it's, it's better to say the national government instead of just national government. I know we capitalize it. I know it is considered a row here, but uh, really, in the real world, uh, it's best to keep a the here. It's not a reference there. We are not saying the national government. The national government is its correct form. Anyway, um, moving on to the first body paragraph. So what I understood, by the way, from this sentence before I move on, is that uh, Half the police budget came from national government. I look at 175.5, which is, uh, yeah, 150 something is half of this number. And yes, more than half of it, yes. And yes, it is the same case for 2018. That was an interesting point. National government is, uh, sorry, was, uh, the most, the highest contributor to the police budget in that area. In 2017, okay, so what I understand when I read this is that, yeah, there's another paragraph by saying in 2018. I kind of understand that, but it, I, I was hoping for a better, clearer way to say that the paragraph structures are going to be sequential and we're going to say 2017 first and then 2018. We didn't have that bit of information here. It's just uh, for those who want to get a higher score, eight or nine, 
then they, they also need to consider that. In th that's not wrong. I'm just saying these are elements that will improve your writing style. In 2017, the total police budget was 304.7 million pounds. Okay. Yes, this is 304.7 million pounds. More than half of the budget, that is 175.5 million GBP, Great Britain's pound, was, uh, and it is, uh, by the way, correctly punctuated, because this is extra information, was procured by national government, by the national government. In the second place, local taxes contributed 91, 0.2 million pounds. The rest was approximated via was appropriated via other sources such as grants. It's a good word. It's related to budget and uh, other sources such as grants, such as, for example, three quarters of the money was spent on salaries for the police officers and staff. Salaries for the police officers and staff. Yeah, three quarters. If you write three quarters, it's best to put a hyphen here. Three hyphen quarters of the money was spent on the office and staff. The remainder of the budget was allocated to building and transport, 17%, and technology, 8%. As you can see, we write the numbers below 11. So if it's 10, we write T-E-N. If it's 5, we don't write a digit 5. We say F-I-V-E. So this is a good one. Again, this paragraph could be improved by, by letting me know that we are going to talk about everything in 2017, not just the table, but uh, the paragraph focused on one element here. Now we are moving on to 2018. What we did in the previous paragraph and what we are going to do in this paragraph is that we mixed the 2017 data from this table with the pie chart. And then we are going to compare the 2018 data com uh, combined with the pie chart here. That makes things more creative and will help you get a better score and it is more challenging. So be careful. If this is not something you are comfortable with, you can still devote one paragraph to the table and one paragraph to the pie charts. So it's, it's your decision. But when you do that, sadly, because of the nature of this table, many of your sentences will become boring, will become repetitive. So you need to have a very good skill in grammar to change your sentence structures. There are not many words you can use. And to make things interesting, you need to be able to use different grammatical structures. All right. In 2018, all budget sources increased slightly in comparison to the numbers in 2017. So, yes, in 2017, the numbers were something. All of them increased maybe just slightly. You can, you can say that. You can see already here. National, the national government went up by 2.3 million pounds, reaching 177.8 million GBP. I need a comma here. Yeah, 177.8, correct. Local taxes went up from 91.2 to 102.3 million pounds. That is just 11 million, 11.1 million pounds increase. Uh, that's a little bit more than 10%. So went up from this to, and the, the change for other sources was insignificant. Yeah, it went from 38 million to 38.5 million. So yeah, that was insignificant. Budget allocation increased in favor of technology, approximately doubled the 2017 level at 14%. Okay, 
Salaries to officers and staff went down 6%, making up 69% of the budget allocation in 2018. Uh, we didn't talk about building and transport. Overall, building and transport was a line in budget that remained completely unchanged in both years. Okay. That, that's a good overall. Because it, it's really significant. Like 17% remained unchanged, untouched. That is something significant. 225 words. Let's look at the band descriptors then. And you need to give me a few seconds. I'll be back. I'm back. Let's see. So what, what have we got here? Yes, we covered everything. All the requirements were there. Uh, we didn't talk about the digits for uh, other sources. We didn't, you know, we didn't say all the numbers. We shouldn't say all the numbers, uh, but uh, maybe this, the, the slight changes, uh, the percentages, uh, because uh, the change wasn't unified. We, we generally said that the, the numbers from 2018 increased a little bit in comparison to the 2017 numbers, but just for a bit. But that a bit uh, was uh, different, so there were different numbers. Maybe it was worth noting that the increase wasn't, was slightly, was, was very small in, increase, but it, but it was still different in different sections or sectors. And then uh, paragraphing could have been improved. Because of the nature, we may, we may have used uh, or overused some discourse markers by going up, went up, increased. And uh, we, we needed a better better structure. That's why the variety of grammatical structures is sufficient, but it's not wide. It's nothing bad. I'm, I'm just saying uh, it could be better. We needed better variety in grammatical structures so that we can create a variety of connectors and discourse markers. And I told you that the organization of information wasn't uh, given to me that was sequential 2017 and 2018. We just reported the data, and later I realized in the paragraphs that, yeah, we've, we're going to first cover 2017 and then 2018. The errors were not very significant. They did not affect my understanding. There were just a few, even very occasional, not even few, very occasional errors in uh, punctuation and one hyphen. Again, none of them affected my understanding. Seven is a fair score here. Uh, can it be improved? Absolutely. If you wish to see the improved version, click on the description. You will, uh, you will see a link to the ISJUS website where you have access to this video and the assessment, more information about this and the improved version of this very report. And on that note, if you wish to see other videos like this, you know where to click. And uh, I hope I'll be assessing your report or maybe essay next time. Take care.